basically doing here, guys. Oh, did you hear that? We're we're trying to sugar. That's not what I wanted to do. Uh, we're trying to dig our way to the top because I'm pretty sure this is a cave biome. I went for a bit of a search. Yeah, it is. Now, I, oh, that's actually crag rock, but it's a bit like gravel. How strange. Um, now what I've heard about these places is that on top of the cave biomes, it's effectively a super flat. So strange. We're in a twilight forest biome. Oh, this is so strange, man. Ah, uh, I quite I like it. I like it. What I'm gonna do actually is I'm gonna chuck all this bullshit out of my inventory because uh, we don't need it. I'm gonna keep the underside because why not? Uh, it's still got Luna in it. Good. I'm going to get out a uh, my awesome axe and we're gonna see if this works on one of these trees. And if it does, oh nice. We're gonna try and maybe get some nice stuff for Bunsible because he likes growing stuff. Oh, hello. Roots. Oh yeah, I forgot you can get roots. Um, and I think it would be nice for him to have some saplings or something. Uh, we already have one sapling, so that's good. Um, and then we're gonna take a bit of an explore. We're gonna go for a little bit of an explore, look for dungeons, look for stuff. We're technically in a twilight forest. It's weird, but yeah, that's that's what's happening. Oh, we get cyan dye from that. That's so handy because that's basically what I, you know, that's my thingy color. So if we get enough of this, then we won't need to get any cyan dye for a while. Oh, man, this is exciting. I love Miscraft exploring. Here we go. A dungeon right here. Unlikely that we'll get a portal gun from it, but you never know. Maybe we can be smart about this. Get our force wrench. Quickly run, pick up, get out of there. And get to safety, and we can explore it and get it another time. Uh, maybe get the wither spawner another time or something. Yeah, look at that. Look at that for smartness. Uh, let's get in here and let's see what they've got in this chest. Ooh, another division sigil. A lot. Oh my god, how do they not see that? And a builder's wand. Oh, this is like one of the best goddamn things I could have ever found. Oh. Oh. A logic matrix programmer, really useful if you're into factorization. Nether quartz, perfect. Atlas's portal gun, perfect. Oh my god, this couldn't have gone much better. Another division sigil. Uh, I don't really want that. Bucket of force, I don't really want. I'll take the ender pearl. And I'll take the bucket, why not? Because they stack. And uh, I was just basically picking this up to see if it was water. And it is. So that's. I just. It looked like a cool color. So I wanted to see if I could take it home with me. But I'm pretty sure it's biome specific. That is so cool. Oh my god, guys, that is... You've no idea how chuffed that's made me already. We've just find... We find it. We've done it. We've we've, we've set out and uh, achieved what we wanted to achieve in the course of an episode. And bearing in mind how awful the start of this episode went, you've no idea how happy that's made me. Let's go for another bit of an explore. Our frame rate's going to take a big lag like this. I'm currently pressing W. Basically, the server's generating new chunks, so we won't move for a little bit. But, um, yeah, we're going to go for a little bit of an explore just to see what's going on. Oh, that was a teleport and a half. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> uh, ooh, mud. Now, what do we get with mud? We get something pretty cool with mud, don't we? Or is this just something I'm remembering? Uh, wrong. Uh, mud, 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 mud. Uses. Makes mud ball. Make muddy pickaxes. Make mud bricks, which I think you can make into mud, actual mud bricks. That's cool. I might have that because it looks a bit like poop. <laughs> and that might be something that we uh, that we use. So I actually need to like mark all these things. Oh, we're probably getting near to the end of the episode because if I did this right, um, then... Oh, I should have brought a bed with me. Then the the time where I basically, uh, the, you know, the little time lapse thing with the commentary should take up a bit of a chunk of an episode too. So I'm not sure uh, if I'm going to end episodes and then officially start. I think I'll probably will just like, you know, keep recording because this is so much fun doing some exploring and then keep on going with you guys. So we're going to have an episode or two of exploring basically. Is that the chest I just placed? It is, isn't it? I'm a moron. Uh, what well, we don't want to go too far away from the thing. Let's go north. North is a good direction to go. Always, I feel. Um, so I will be back if we find anything cool, guys, basically. Look what I find. I find a Miscraft. The temple -y thingy. Oh, we're going to be a little bit scuppered for space. But I'm sure we could chuck some of this bullshit out. For example, we don't need that. Uh, let's get our ender chest. I love how I'm doing this in preparation of epicness. But yeah, it's important. Uh, let's put that back. We don't want to lose that. We don't want to lose that. 
what are things we can lose? Oh, there's plenty of things we can lose, but for now, let's, that should be enough space for a decent amount of pages. A decent amount. Hmm, this is awesome. Oh, I love this. I forgot how cool exploring could be. Um, yee! Oh, what's that? Is that just, a, is that just like a, a bug? A tiny bird. Oh, aren't they cute? If we had a morph, that would be very powerful. <laughs> Aha, lecterns with chocolate milk. <laughs> so we could have a chocolate milk ocean. An island world, that's a good one to have. I think island world would be pretty good. Normal moon, another good one to have. Uh, let us put these away. Oh, we can't, hold on. Oh, we can't put it in there. Uh, but let us get out this and start hacking stuff down. Because there is often a chest behind, or maybe they've changed that, haven't they? Oh, that was weird. That was weird bugginess, wasn't it? Oh yeah, I guess they've changed it. I don't see any chest with, with more stuff in it now. Didn't they used to have like chests with like more pages? I'm pretty. Oh god, we must have broken it with the thing. Aha! Oh dear. Um, let's get rid of these books. We do not. Oh man, ocean biome. Oh dear, this is gonna drive me nuts. Okay, let us quickly. Craft a chest because that is something that we want to do. Let's get it rid of this rock shit. Let us craft a couple of chests. Why not? Okay, chest one. Come on. Chest one can be placed instead of the shears. Ah, two chests. Awesome. And let's get these pages in here. We don't want to lose any of these pages. In fact, you know what? Let's get the books in there too so we know what all came from what. And then we can look at them all later. Yeah, we haven't lost anything there, have we? Books wood okay let's look at these let's look at the, what we've got here let's put some of this rubbish away um, in fact you know what we can just use the lectern so we can keep that there and that way that will work mm, let's put that away too we don't need it and you know what let's put this away too because we can always come back let's keep some why does that happen I hate the way that happens let's keep some anyway right we've got chocolate milk ocean we can make an chocolate ocean guys uh, page gradient, so that's like a modifier for sky, presumably. Overgrown beach, it's a nice biome to have. Normal moon, seasonal forest, one of my favorite biomes. And whatever, page, the uh, world thingy. So which of these should we take? We should take a stack of books, because they are useful. And I think, you know what, guys, that's pretty much us. I might just actually make a, um, linking book here back home, so that I don't have to like travel all the way back home i think that would be smart wouldn't it so since i've got lots of linking books yeah uh let's just put it there on the floor and if we get this open then we can get home and we can do stuff when we get home i'm i'm pretty pretty chuffed by that yeah so wow that's a pretty successful first excursion into a miscraft world if only for this jobby right here awesomely powerful so yeah let's go home Guys, I didn't set this up intending to record, but I just thought it would be foolish if I didn't show you just how much goddamn difficult I am in. I'm gonna die here, I think. Oh, I didn't mean to open that. Oh, half a heart. Holy mother. Uh, let's get... No, we want that on our inventory. Let's just build ourselves in here a little bit. Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, we're in a lot of difficulty. <laughs> because I decided that I needed some more blaze rods and I thought, oh, I'll just place my blaze spawner anywhere and this job is fun. Oh, yeah, let's just do that gear. That sounds great like a great like idea. And now we've got to go down and kill these things. <laughs> so anyway, I can craft a force wrench up here so I can just quickly run down and get it. What's th that shouldn't be too difficult. Yeah, let's just do that. I know we don't really need... It's a bit silly having more than one, but hey, come on. We, desperate times call for desperate measures. Uh, and let's get a, some cobblestone. Okay, this should be enough, shouldn't it? Okay, so uh, gear. Stone gear. Force gear. Force wrench. Oops, didn't mean to do that. that force wrench. Okay. Geronimo! I was trying to think of something to shout. Holy mother. 
Insufficient fuel! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> oh dear. Uh, what do I make for fuel again? Isn't it F or something you open? God, can I just put this stuff in? Nope, okay. Let's put in some of the force gems. I'm sure we have some of these here. Oh god. Uh, this is going to be a bit difficult to say the least. But if I can just pick this up, then I can slowly pick them off. Okay, oh, holy mother. Oh god, that wood's gonna go on fire, isn't it? Oh, at least we got this. Okay. We're gonna die, but that's okay. There's no more blazes. That's okay, there's no more blazes. So I'm gonna try and fucking pick up this awful mess I've created for myself. Oh, I just thought I couldn't not show you that. <laughs> Hello, guys. So after that little blaze incident, we are back and we're doing some more crafting and getting set up and stuff. And... Basically, I've hit a bit of a hurdle, and I just wanted to briefly outline that for you right now. Uh, you'll notice a couple of things in my inventory, and that's because, well, we need some grinders. We, When we initially crafted the... Uh, oh, hello there. <laughs> I'm sure they're just doing something cinematic. Um, when we initially crafted the... Um, the Minecraft spawner and stuff up here, the server was before an update. You will notice that I have placed the portal there, actually, uh, and it's in the appropriate place on the other side, too. So I came down here, I placed my ash cloud, I was going to place my grinder, my vacuum hopper, etc., etc., so we could get the actual mob f essence farm set up, but unfortunately, that's just not going to happen because we're having a bit of a bug. Um, since since the update, uh, the recipes for Mine Factory Reloaded items seem to have changed, and these ones have all been disabled. Uh, so even if I put this in, it doesn't give me this. Uh, equally, when I look up the thermal expansion recipes, basically long sort of it, Mine Factory Reloaded allows you to increase the difficulty of recipes, and there's thermal expansion items required for some of them in the more advanced version. Um, when I put those recipes in, when I looked them up online, it doesn't give me the item either. So at the moment, we can't get a grinder, uh, which is basically our way of getting mob essence so we're a bit scruppered uh what i'm gonna do actually though is i'm just going to show you that i got up there by mm, i'm sure we can work out where we place that purple one and just place another purple one here and go up oh hello oh maybe not come on let's go this way why is that not why can't i not like <laughs> maybe it's against it <laughs> Yeah, I think I just put it in a little space. God damn it. Oh no, it's because it's in there. It's on the floor. Well, that was dumb. Um, can I hit that up there? I can. And then, so that was the stupidest thing I could have done, really, wasn't it? Okay. That was the stupidest thing I could have done. Uh, <laughs> is there any way I can get up? Oh, that's a space. Let's, let's try this. There we go. Aha! So we're up here. So basically, the idea is uh, purple one. Th no, come on. Th there. And, yeah, where would I have put the blue one? Uh, it's like, uh, how did I do this again? Yeah, because I want them to, like, oh, I remember now. Dope, dope, dope. Oh, that was handy. Uh, because, how did I not, for how did I forget where I did this? Uh, if you look down here, I'm pretty sure this will take us down. Uh, that's where we've placed the, um, you know, the, the, the appropriate farm as it were and we've made the grinder okay that we could craft that okay we've got everything there we've even got some mob essence in our thing ready to start it off but without any method of grinding it we're a bit scuppered so basically the idea was and i should be able to survive this fall if it works oh it didn't work so yeah sometimes you have to place this purple one the appropriate way let's see if this we can get this to work this time uh i should be able to survive it because i've got the thing there now there we go yeah so I can survive that fall. Slimes will survive it too. And then we'll grind them and get all the experience and, you know, and the mob essence and everything that we need. Um, so what do we do this episode? Well, we could go back exploring some more uh, Mistcraft pages. And I do want to do that eventually. But I'm kind of fed up of not being able to fly and not having any decent armor. So I think we are going to make an attempt to get somewhat of an IC2 setup going so that we can at least somewhat get some of this stuff going, the power, the power armors and things. But bef bef so in, in, in order to enable us to do that, I know we're not this is all temporary, because I do want to build the skull base soon, and that's definitely on my list of things to do soon. This setup just isn't really that efficient. So what I'm thinking of doing 
is tearing this entire area down, including the villagers. Um, well, not including the villagers, but including this villager spawner area because I've come up with a better idea for the skelly spawner, and I think I'll do that down here as well. Not skelly spawner, the bone meal spawner. I think I'll do that down here as well. And I'm going to basically clear this entire place out and start from scratch, make it a fresh basement again, and we can hopefully get a bit of a better setup. I've got, I want to, if you look over here, the power cable that takes the grinder down is using hardened energy circuits. I've currently cut a gap in that. I'm not really sure why I did that, but uh, uh, in fact, because if I, if I just didn't want it to connect, I could just do this. I'd put that there, and I think that makes a lot more sense. Because uh, I'm pretty sure that thing will just keep taking power, even if it doesn't. So, yeah, you'll notice that we're not outputting much power. There's no reason to output much power at the moment, so that's not too big of a problem. But, yeah, I want to kind of just get this all nice and smooth, get the power set up a bit more efficiently set up, etc., etc., etc. So I'm going to do that off camera, and then I'll come back and explain it all to you afterwards. So, guys, here's the work I've done here. I've pretty much cleared up a good amount of this. Uh, didn't clear up that dirt up there. Not sure if I'm bothered about it. I do have quite a bit of smooth stone left, so oh, I, st I still have it here. Silly me. So we can do it. You know, the excavator makes this pretty damn easy. Oh, shouldn't have done it like that. Should have done it like that. Oh well. You know, you just you can do three blocks at once. Let's put that there so nothing spawns in, in that little space. You know, it makes it pretty easy. If I had a uh, wand of equal trade, it'd be even easier. But hey. No big deal. But yeah, I've basically just cleared this out, mostly because I was kind of getting fed up of having all that mess. Uh, well, not mostly, to be honest. That's not true at all. But like partially because of that. Um, but a, a good deal also of it came down to the fact that... Come on, can I get this away? Cool. A good deal came down to the fact that I wasn't really comfortable with a lot of these setups. Uh, a big one was the pyre. So we've got that sort of out here. I learned about round robin, so we've actually got this running a lot more efficiently now. Uh, what I could do, guys, is I could, because you'll see that it's actually outputting pyre, which means it's going to use this stuff. It's not running efficiently. When you use pyre, what you want it to output is 80 redstone flux per tick. So what I could do is I could set up, because these are both full now. These I upgraded both my energy cells. They're both hardened. Um, I could, like... It's not quite full, I guess. Well, it says it is. Why is it not? Eh, no big deal. I could... There's this really cool feature in it where actually, uh, in, in Thermal Expansion, whereby you can put a comparator against an energy cell, and then the redstone signal strength that it gives off equates to how much power is in the cell. And then, you know, I could set this up so that it requires a, a redstone, or, you know, I could just have that redstone feedback into this in order to, like control that it would need to it's a bit compact it would need to go underneath or something but hey it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world i set this up to expand but to expand it, i'm going to need to move this this little sort of section back just really simple whenever i get my tree farm back up and running again it's going to go in there which is going to pull out into the redstone furnace redstone furnaces only um will pull out one uh coal at a time meaning i don't have to like uh have a server that's making that go um I don't have a server because it auto exports as well, so I don't need a redstone signal on that, and I don't need it to be uh, servoed to make it like have a stack of one at the time. Because otherwise, if it was pulling out 64, 64 would go in this one, then 64 would go in this one. Right, I'd I kind of wanted to go one, 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 as it were. So that's going to happen automatically because of the pulverizer, pulverizer, which is quite handy. In fact, you know what? Let me just show you this because we've got some right now. Be pretty easy. So I'll just whack some of this stuff in. This is like whenever I was clearing up and I had a bit of an overflow. So eventually we'll see all of that pull down, but luckily only one will go in at a time, which is actually a good thing for us, because it means now, for example, that this should go up to 23, and then this one should eventually go up to 28. Remember, item ducks are slow, because they're not... Uh, there we go, etc, etc, etc. So we're doing pretty good. You'll notice I've taken away my uh, white, white, white ender chest, and that's because I'm not going to use the skelly spawner. I'm going to do something else with that spawner and with the grinders. In fact, I actually already thought of what I'm going to do with the grinders. I'm also going to do something else with these villagers. I'm not sure what. Uh, I won't grind them into emeralds because I've already got quite a bit of emeralds from the nether, so I'm not too worried about that. This is now my bone meal production. So, we have got pulverizers. Now, we've kind of set them up in a bit funny. Their faces here, that's in order to maximize usable sort of faces. Um, they are, as you can see, pulverizing wool. Now, they pulverize wool into... Let me show you the recipe for that. Uh, I can go to wool, and I can go to uses. Oh, well, I can if I 
click away from it I can go to uses and hopefully it should come up here reasonably soon well now you can see you can macerate it into two but you can pulverize it into four with a 25% chance of bone meal which is pretty damn good it uses power so that's the only thing we're really using uh, but that's not exactly that big a deal. That's why that's fluctuating a little bit. We're, but, but what we're generating at like four, you know, a tech over here is, is plenty enough to keep that taking over. So not much being used at all, really. Um, and you, so basically, you've got a setup here where separating the two different outputs. If I get one into the yellow, the yellows are coming in here through this side and they're going into this chest. This is temporary. I just wanted to have this chest here to make sure that this worked. Uh, uh, what happens with the four string is they go back up, they get crafted into more wool which gets pulled out and put back in the pulverizer. At the moment it's not running perfectly efficiently, you'll, efficiently, you'll see there's a lot of time where there's no wool in the pulverizer, that's because I just didn't have that much string or wool in the beginning, but I think I have uh, some more up here, so let me look, no I don't, but I did have more string, uh, or did I? I thought I did. Well, we could always go and get some. It's not the end of the world. Let's get some of this as well. Why not? And, um... Oh, well. I'll have to go share some more sheep. That's not the end of the world. Uh, I'll put some more thing in there, and hopefully that will help us get a good amount of, um... Thing, uh, bone meal for the trees. I'm pretty sure we're producing it at a rate that's pretty fast. I haven't timed it, but I know that I've currently got my tree farm set up to like go like, was it once a minute or once every 30 seconds or something? So as long as we get, uh, I think it's like four bone meals every 30. How much trees have I got? I've got three here, didn't I? So, uh, as long as I got one bone meal every 10 seconds, which I'm pretty sure I'm doing, that should be fine. Uh, oh, by the way, guys, uh, I'm going to do it with this because it's not, the consequences are not that, uh, <laughs> the consequences will never be the same. The consequences aren't that significant. Uh, where's my gravity gun? It's not there, but this will do. If you grab these black storage units, they turn into other storage units. Oh, well, they don't, but they say, they, oh yeah, it's, it's a duplicating bug, look. Uh, and it also drops all the items, so that's not good. But yeah, there's a duplicating bug there, so I guess that's, oh. Not a good thing or a bad thing, really, but it's a thing. Um, uh, they don't stack for some reason, even though they're the exact same. Strange. Uh, but that's okay. Uh, so we will put this bone meal back in there. And actually, you can see that instantly getting pulled out, which is awesome. Uh, pulled out quite a big, large amount in the, at the beginning. I guess that's because... Uh, but now it doesn't need to pull out as much. Yeah, it's all bounced back as well. Silly, silly, silly. I wonder if that's going to instantly start making some stuff here grow. That would be interesting. I should go over and check on that, but it's not exactly my main priority right now because I've got both a lot of coal and a lot of uh, wood. What I'm actually probably going to do is maybe, yeah, maybe I should do that now, actually. I'm going to make something, guys. I'm going to make something really cool. It's called a dolly, and it's designed specifically with Java in mind, which stands for just another better barrel attempt, which is where these barrels come from. And what we're going to make it for is because... I should have an iron angle down here, actually. Uh, I hope that these work. Let me see. Come on, pick them up. Uh, what we're going to make it for is to move barrels. Because we, I tried when I was moving barrels and stuff as well, it just didn't really... Oh. Oh, we need like one, two... Oh, that was the other way around. Uh, that's fine, though. Um, it just did... It, it, it worked, but sometimes they would break they wouldn't render, there'd be a lot of issues, so that's okay. There's a thing designed specifically for moving barrels, so we're just going to pick this up, and as you can see, you get a really cool slowness and mining fatigue effect, which I think makes a lot of sense, because you're moving these big heavy items. We're going to put that there, and you know what, we're going to put this portal gun away. I'm going to like lock that away somewhere, because I don't want to use it, obvious, for obvious reasons. Um, now, if we turn this into output as well... We're going to need a server on that one, but because it's round robin, it should do the same, which is pretty cool. I could put a lever on the back of that, but you know what? I'm going to make a servo. Or I think I might have a servo somewhere. Servo. I think because like, I was because I was like macerating that entire setup, I came away with quite a lot of shit. There we go. There they are. As you can see, lots of stuff, including... Um, stuff that I can't craft at the moment, the grinders. So I'm actually going to finish up my slime setup after I 
finish fiddling around with this I'm gonna finish up my slime setup and hopefully get that running and you can see that on the go as well and then we are going to just say one at a time and hopefully yeah let's let's put it in and see see if it goes down is it going down yeah, but it's going down one at a time, and that's cool because it means we're not going to get like completely. Oh, we don't want to serve. We want to just click on this and see what is going on. So you can see like sometimes power isn't like building up because the it's not going at maximum efficiency. But yeah, I'll work in that whenever I get an actual power organ set up. Mm. Which I said again is probably going to be. Mm, a heart, an anatomically correct heart, which I'll build again. Let me know if you'd like to do a time lapse of that. So, we are using our bone meal. If I go, I'm going to keep an eye on this because if we keep going low on bone meal, I'm going to have to add more wool in. I know I am. Yeah, it's quite obvious I'm going to have to add more wool in. Let me see those. Are we getting wood in here yet? Yes! And I'm pretty sure that wasn't just from what we like. I should put us like a I should put like a backup loop that goes back into this barrel as well. That would be a good idea, wouldn't it? So like if there's no way of going out, it can go out the back. Huh. Or maybe I should go make it go into the barrel first and yeah, that would be a better way of doing it, wouldn't it? But more complicated. Anyway, I'm gonna do the stuff off camera. We know our bone meal is working. We're not getting bone meal quick enough. That's fine. We can add more wool. We can add more lines to this. I think it's a more stable setup. We know that for every piece of wool, we're going to get 25%. You know, we can like sort of actually time it. So, we, you know, we get, if we, if we, if we make, if we're, if we're pulverizing wool all the time, then we can pulverize like one piece of wool every, what, like second. So if we're pulverizing one, two, three, four, five, a second then we can actually get at least one per second so as long as I get more wool in there that should be fine I shouldn't have to expand because that should be plenty of bone meal which is good that's a good thing uh, and then occasionally these things might get jammed but hey that's not the end of the world they'll fix themselves I am going to go off camera I'm gonna do a little little just a little bit more fiddling with this sort of setup to get it exactly how I want it and we are going to go over to the tree farm to fix that up exactly how we want it. And then we're going to put the grinders and make them work in the, um, for the slime farm. We're going to finish up with a, with a working slime farm, which is something that I've been working towards for a couple of episodes. So that, that'll be nice. All right. See you in a bit, guys.